Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, yo, we got here, man. Yo, we got the biggest hip hop event happening right now. Well, actually, you might be a little bit late at this point. Um, the game pulling the Bill Clinton, or Kelly and the little boy. <laughs> yo, my bad, yo. I didn't mean to. They coming for another artist, baby, and Kanye West. You like, yo, what you laughing at? That ain't even funny. Look, let, let's start you off with this, okay? The largest hip-hop festival is set to go down in Miami, and quite the lineup was set to take the stage, okay? But the stage collapsed. Now, um, I'm trying to figure out whether this joint is going down or not. As far as I understand, the thing is going down. It's called Rolling Loud. You know what it is, man. It's in Miami, right? Now, um, what, I, didn't I have a list of people who was supposed to be at this joint? Okay, boom. Here we go. Uh, here's the time. Now, this now this story was supposed to appear on the backup channel, and it was supposed to appear like yesterday, man. But it didn't come out because, you know, we were having some technical difficulties. So, we're giving you the information a little bit late. By the time you get this, like, you're gonna get, it's going to be tomorrow night. It's going to be Sunday night. You're going to get the tail end of it. So, you're going to have to play me in your car while you run to Rolling Loud. La- rolling la- rolling Loud. You see what I'm saying? Um, Friday the 23rd, well, you missed it, but... You know, it was ASAP Rocky was there, Lil Baby was there, Playboy Cardi, 21 Savage. I mean, what, each person had like 10 minutes? It was crazy. Each person had like 10 minutes or something crazy like that. Um, is it that short? Yeah, I guess each of them was doing like one song. All right, whatever. Saturday, that's tonight. That's like right now. Right now, right? Travis Scott, what, what time is it? It's 10.52 when I'm, I'm recording this Saturday night, 10.52. Travis Scott is set to take the stage at 11 o'clock, all right? 915 Young Thug. What kind of order is this, man? The Ciroc stage, the Audio Max stage. Man, whatever. Hopefully, we got the image on your screen. If you can't see the image on your screen, I apologize, man. You see what I'm saying? Don't be cussing me out. Matter of fact, boom. All right? And then, let me, I'm just screenshotting it for you, man. You're like, yo, man, this is very unprofessional. What the hell you thought you was tuning into, man? Rolling Loud is going down Sunday. Uh, today, the time that you're probably hearing this, Post Malone's going to hit you at 11 o'clock. If, if it's past 9.35, you done miss Lil Uzi Vert, okay? So Megan Thee Stallion's going to be making her appearance at 7.55, but by the time you hear this, she'll just have been walking off the stage, most likely. You see what I'm saying? Gucci Mane's going to be at 11.05, so make sure you come with a bulletproof vest. T-Pain's going to be out there singing his heart out. You know how it gets down. Uh, Lotto's gonna be out there too, 635, man. You know what it is. It's gonna be a lot of folks out there, all right? Um, so that's your info for Rolling Loud. I, I, I apologize you getting this a little bit late. Like I said, man, technical difficulties. What do you want? What do you want, okay? Uh, where we at, man? Look, like I said, all that information I thought was gonna be next because the stage, like the screen structure collapsed during preparations. And the Rolling Loud rep was like, yo, during loading and construction, a pro projection screen fell as it had been secured right there was no injuries and the stage is being reset for the weekend thank you sir we definitely appreciate that hopefully the stage don't collapse like while i'm doing this right now see what i'm saying you like yo man um are you on 10 today i'm not on 10 now look technically right technically the game might be able to run for president and when they ask him sir did you or did you not smoke marijuana? He could say, define smoke. And then they play this video right here. Take a look. Now, after they play that video, right? After, after he sees that, he could say, see, I never inhaled. And they're going to be like, damn. Hey, look, man, R. Kelly. Look, look, I have to, man, okay? You want the news or do you want the news? Look, cancel all your babysitting appointments and stuff like that. Your boy ain't going to be able to make it tonight, all right? Look, um... <laughs> You like, yo, man, you, you ain't have to really go there with all that. L- listen, listen, okay? This is like a verse of Trapped in the Closet at this point. Federal prosecutors are accusing the man and his team of messing with a 17-year-old boy. Yes, I said 
boy, right? It's like another episode of Trapped in the Closet, for real, okay? They're, they're accusing him of, uh, what you would call it, abuse of minors, that's the 17-year-old boy, physical abuse, hush money, right? Which has now made its grand appearance into the situation, and they're accusing him and his team of bribery. Now, prosecutors made claims that R. Kelly had someone on his team pay an Illinois state employee $500 to create a fake ID in 1994 so that he could marry Aaliyah when she was just 15. Hey, yo, man, I said it on the other page, man. I, uh, you know, the backup page, the celeb source backup page. See, if you don't know about the celeb source backup page, you're missing out because some of this information is on there and I add and, and delete information and stuff like that, okay? Celeb source. I right, hopefully we got an uh, image of that somewhere on the screen. Okay, yo, check this out, man. Um, what was I gonna tell you? Y your boy R. Kelly is accused of marrying Aaliyah in order to keep her from testifying against him. See, this is why you got to watch your kids, man. Don't just let your kids just be with anybody. You see what I'm saying? Watch these these damn kids, man. Please. Hey, yo, let me do my shout-outs real quick, because when I start thinking about cr craziness like that, I, I, I get all bent out of shape, and y'all know the only thing that can get your boy feeling a little bit better is the shout-outs, man. Yo, the architect came through and said, you're stupid for having another company re-upload your content on another site. They getting paid off your ish, and you're not dumb. I told this dude was dumb is thinking that getting paid only happens in dollars. There's multiple ways of getting paid, fam. Not just monetarily. You follow what I'm saying, man? I worked on this channel for months before I even got paid. Before I saw a dollar. You see what I mean? Uh, Trey Tyson said, yo, dang, Seleg. Seleg. That ain't my name. Celeb. Now I'm part of the top 700 views. Am I in the shout-out club? I'm like, for sure. You've been in the shout-out club. We just forgot to shout you out. Um, shout out to Bree Harris and uh, Ra Music said, what you know about that Skyrim? We just gonna keep putting the puzzle together to figure the man behind the voice. Hey, look, man, <laughs> it's just a voice, fam. I don't know how many times we got to tell y'all that. Uh, Josh said, I wish a Google would unsubscribe me from the source. I'm gonna get an iPhone so fast. Yo, man, like I said, a lot of folks have been unsubscribed. Resubscribe. All right, um, yo, Maybach Mel 1804, man, shout out to you, Certified Storm holding us down, man, said I come through faithfully to check out the work of Consistent Energy, keep up the good work, family, we definitely appreciate that, man, Terry Ricks holding it down, Terry Ricks, uh, Life Survivor, she got herself a little channel, man, go check that out, and uh, Glamorous W, I feel like I shouted you out already, but I love your pick, sis. So I'm shouting you out again, right? Um, and indescribably, Stacy and Rallo Da Vinci, much love and respect. Thank y'all for checking your boy out. Oh yeah, by the way, shout out to Nels and Charlotte all uh, Britain holding me down. Yes, um, you know, the shout outs are a little bit lengthy today, but yo man, um, this channel don't go nowhere without the folks that be coming through in the comment section and those of y'all that be hitting me with the views, also with the membership. So much love to y'all, Iggy Azalea is next on the list you like for real <laughs> no 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 this is good trust me look shorty shared out a pic of her son in a dinosaur costume right and because earth is the ghetto of the galaxy and the internet is the pissy stairwell of the ghetto some hating ass fool my fault troll thought it was in good taste to clown iggy and playboy cardi's son my phone cut off clown iggy and playboy cardi's son talking about why is a child not rocking designer clothes or some nonsense like that because apparently you aren't cool enough if you're a one-year-old and <laughs> if you're wearing so if you're not wearing someone else's name on your back see that's what i see name brand clothes is name brand clothes is just wearing somebody else's name all over your body to which i say f out of here with all that man you see what i'm saying you got me effed up i ain't sweating all that you like, you don't got no name brand stuff? I try not to. Not if their name is on it. 
Um, anyway, look, Iggy went into full on Super Saiyan mode and threw a Molotov cocktail straight into the troll's face and shot back talking about, imagine being so miserable that you bully a one-year-old child for picking his own outfit. Y'all so corny and bored and it's really a damn shame. Just disgusting. My child is not a sub-brand for his father's fans to obsess over or clown on because the reality is that y'all don't like his mom, so you think it's cute to be rude about a baby and what funny stuff he wears. Know that I will smack you in person and so will his dad. Close quote. Now, someone who may or may not be the same person, but they definitely have the same spirit, tried to pat away the flames talking about, quote, it's not that deep. Close quote. So she threw some more gas on it and flicked her cigarette at that troll and posted, quote, come say that ish in real life and find out that it is. I don't play about my baby at all. And please do know he has a closet full of sneakers and more designer than their broke down, can I borrow your jeans, bro, dirty cart, dirty cart, dirty carpet, going hungry all month because you couldn't afford that anyway. Slow Wi-Fi having behind will ever have. My son is creative and full of confidence. Close quote, right? <laughs> you know, in all that. The slow Wi-Fi is what got me. Like, that's the part that cut me. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes the Wi-Fi is a killer. Anyway, Safari came out the cut from behind the bush with some advice for Iggy, right? Because, you know, father of the year. And stated, quote, don't post him. We live in a sick, sad world where innocent kids are tainted with evil eyes. Close quote. Thank you, Safari Samuels. Speaking of eyes... Look at your boy Safari's uh, eyes real quick in this next clip. Take a look. It was like, correction, where? Pregnant. <laughs> I know mad cats are like, yo, I remember that moment. I remember when she told me that we're pregnant. Like, like every, like all, all men sat in that chair and saw that same ultrasound at some point in their lives. It's like we all sat at that chair. You like celeb? You got kids? I'm saying like, like, figuratively, metaphorically, you, you see what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, you mean reality? Whatever. And finally, this might be a little bit long, my apologies, man, but you know. Look, your boy Kanye heard Disney charge $3 for a bottle of Dasani water and was like, you hold my beer. And he went to the Donda release party and charged a whopping $35 for some sweet and salty kettle corn chips, $35. You're like, you're kidding me, right? No, I am not. $45 for cookies and brownies. You're like, how big are the cookies? Not big enough, man. And with prices like that, they ain't the brownies you was even hoping for. $50 for chicken tenders, right? You would think they fried a whole living chicken alive and handed it to you. And 65 bucks for a snack basket. What the hell's in the basket is what I wanna know. Now, would someone wake my man who fainted in the back because he didn't know he would be spending all his coins when he went to this Donda event with Shorty? You see what I'm saying? Look, it was at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. You knew you was gonna have to come out your pockets, fam. Hey, yo, let us know what you think, man. I mean, our niggas really, oh, my bad. Are people really paying $65 for a snack basket and $35 for some sweet and salty kettle chips? You know, he gets away with this because people purchase it. How much time I got? Because y'all probably like, this nigga's running over. My bad. I used the N-word twice. You know I like to say ninja. Yo, check out our um, backup channel, man. Yo, we got a backup channel. We trying to get some views up, man. We trying to get... Them. But you know, since since we're, we're, that channel's a smaller channel, they pushed us all the way to the bottom. Don't let them push us to the bottom, yo. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. See us on the backup channel, Celeb Source, right? You like, you said it twice. No, no, no. The backup channel is S-A-U-C-E. And this is Source, or however the hell folks say it. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in. We catch you on the flip side.